Making sense of percentages. Convert and simplify. Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we're taking a dive into the fascinating world of percentages. Not just that, we'll be understanding how to convert these percentages into fractions, and even better, simplifying them to their lowest terms. This will be an exciting journey and I promise by the end of this video, you'll be mastering these conversions. Before we delve into conversions, let's ensure our fundamentals are clear. A percentage is essentially a number or ratio expressed as a fraction of 100. So, when you hear 50%, it simply represents 50 out of 100. So, how do we convert these percentages to fractions? It's quite straightforward. Given a percentage, the fraction is simply that number over 100. For example, if we take 50%, the corresponding fraction would be 50 one hundredths. Now that we have our fraction, the next step is to simplify it. Simplifying fractions means to make the fraction as simple as possible. This is also often called reducing the fraction to its lowest terms. To simplify a fraction, 1. Find the greatest common divisor, GCD, also known as the greatest common factor, GCF, of the numerator and the denominator. 2. Divide both the numerator and the denominator by their GCD. Let's return to our example. The fraction we have is 50 one hundredths. The GCD of 50 and 100 is 50. We then divide both the numerator and the denominator by 50. Hence, 50 one hundredths simplifies to 1 half. The key to mastering this process is practice. Take various percentages, convert them into fractions and then simplify them. With consistent practice, you'll notice a pattern and this will become second nature to you. Always remember, the percentage is a fraction over 100, and simplifying a fraction involves finding the GCD and dividing the numerator and the denominator by it. That brings us to the end of our session. I hope this video helps you in understanding how to convert percentages to fractions and how to simplify them. Keep practicing and in no time, you'll be able to easily convert and simplify on the go. See you in our next video where we continue our exciting journey with English numbers. Happy learning!